Hey, hello YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. Let's do some cooking. Let me show you how easy it is to prepare your own sashimi at home. Let's start by getting some sushi grade fish. Why sushi grade? Because we're going to eat it raw. I went to my local seafood market, saltwater outpost, and grabbed me some Faro Island salmon, Hawaiian butterfish, and Hawaiian baked eye tuna. To be 100% sure of avoiding parasite, you have to stick to tuna and farm it salmon. Officially, the term sashimi grade and sushi grade means precisely nothing. That's mostly for marketing and I'll tell you why later. Let's start by skinning the salmon. Clean any excess of the brown fat. It's okay if you leave some, it just have a different flavor when you eat it raw. You don't have to be perfect. This is just to have some fun and brag with your friends that you slice some sushi grade fish at home for sashimi. So when you see a piece of fish labeled it sushi or sashimi grade, that's mean that the seller has judged it safe to eat raw. The claim is only as trustworthy as the fish market that make it. Any wild fish except tuna species like big eye, yellowfin, bluefin, bonito, skipjack, those wild fish need to be frozen for a specific period of time at specific temperature to get rid of parasites. So to be on the safe side and avoid a trip to the ER or ICU, get those fish frozen. How frozen? Hard frozen, as I did prior to skinning or preparing the sashimi. The Hawaiian Big Eye Tuna steak was huge, so I decided to cut it in long cube for easy slicing and saving the rest for some ahi tuna. Cut always against the grain, that's very important. When making sashimi, the fish fillet should be cut perpendicular to the direction of the spine. This means that you will cut the flesh across the grain. This is a very important thing to remember when making sashimi. Cutting the meat across the grain ensures that each piece of sashimi is not stringy. There are different ways of slicing or cutting for sashimi depending on the type of fish and the dish. But I usually use two common slicing methods. Hirasukuri, those are regular slices, and sojijiri, that is a shaving cut. Today, I went with hirasukuri because of the type of fish I have and it's easier and I was hungry. If you have a sashimi knife, that's great, but otherwise use a long, narrow knife. Thickness can vary and professional chef might say that each sashimi piece is meant to be able to stay upright by itself, but I'm not fussed about it. And I usually slide the fillet bite size. Keep it simple with just having fun and acquiring bragging rights. This is The Traveler, thanks for watching and buen provecho.